Hello, and welcome back to my channel, where I help you feel uplifted and motivate you. I'm drinking apple juice because I'm supposed to avoid sodas and alcohol because of my ulcerative colitis. So, on an uplifting note, honey, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm pelling. I swear it's a little itchy. I have no bra on because I get too exhausted putting it on. And now my breasts are four inches lower than they used to be when I was younger. I need a facelift. A neck lift. That's what I need. An eye lift. These are not bad. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, the cheeks gotta go up. I heard they can do a stitch along here and around your ear. So it's not detectable. So, if you can't see the scars, then you wouldn't even know I had a facelift. It's frightening. It's truly, truly frightening. What has happened? What has happened? This is what's happened. This is a result of tragedies. Let's try to turn this shit around. And let's get started. Okay, so let's pull ourselves out of the dark hole that we're in and let's get our mind off of it. Let's play with a little makeup and uh, try some new products as well. Honestly, um, doing your hair, putting some eyebrows on, if you have sparse sparser eyebrows like I do and um, if you have natural eyebrows that are like perfectly arched and full then go to hell no good for you but when you do those things and especially when you do your makeup I just told a friend of mine recently that it's very therapeutic and um, they agreed so we're gonna play with some makeup. I'm feeling a little better because I did my hair. We're gonna use some of my new techniques that I've learned and um, and talk, talk about some stuff. So the last video I posted, oh, I went into where I was and what was going on with my mom, with me. And um, if it came across as like kind of just like cold and to the point. Quite frankly, I had lived it for a, over a month. And honestly, I had no more tears left. You know, normally when I would talk about something like that, I would get really emotional and I'd cry. And then, you know, well, the big YouTubers, you know, they do dramatic videos like that. And then everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, everything's gonna be okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They get this outpouring of love, which I do on my Facebook. But my viewers here are, are, are the best viewers in the whole wide world. Yes, you are. But there's not that many of you, so I'm trying to grow my channel. 
Speaking of, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you like my videos and you enjoy my content, then please hit the like button and leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. So this is a new technique I'm doing right here. Um, you're supposed to lather on under eye cream and just really get your under eye really, really moisturized. And what that does is it helps you um, from getting creasing. And I'm gonna do this new technique that I just heard about. So you really wanna just pat that moisturizer in there. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do primer. And we're gonna do primer under the eyes. I'm kind of scared of this. I'm gonna start on the inside. And because that's where I predominantly put it. And on a little on the outside. Just a tiny, just the excess on my finger in the middle. Hmm. Okay. And the same on this side. And you know what? I gotta go to the store and the pharmacy because my housekeeper forgot two of the most important things on the list boost <laughs> glucose glucose uh, leveling boost in milk chocolate for my mother and <laughs> this is really sad and mandarin oranges in jello for me okay where's my concealer i'm going in with jouet and I'm going to do, well, let's do some of those things. Let's, well, let's do the triangle. Okay. We'll do the triangle. We'll do over here. We'll do there. I have to go here and I'm going to go in the shadow of that line like I taught you in the last video, if you were paying attention. Okay, then I'm supposed to do the rainbow thing here. And I've got some sunspots, so guess what, honey? They're getting covered up. I'm gonna get these areas that we lose volume in. And like I mentioned in my last video, um, I do get fillers there because I had a really good person explain it to me. I'm going to add a little light right here because I wanted to find my jaw and give myself more of a cut jaw. And the eye area, I'm supposed to go in with my finger, but it's going to take too damn long. So I'm using my dampened beauty blender. You know, it's funny. I don't know why today. I think it's because the last video I did, I did the concealer because I was demonstrating how to get a youthful look with your concealer. But normally I do my foundation first. I do avoid the under eye area when I do my foundation because I want less product under the eye because I'm not 20 anymore. But yeah, I normally do that first and then do the concealer. It's okay, you know what? Let's try something different today. Now remember with that little V, you're supposed to blend the V, but you're not supposed to blend it under directly under your eye and your concealer in the corner. Remember to take that up almost on the inside up to your eyebrow. It's a really important area. And I did just cheat and took a little excess underneath the middle. I didn't mean to, but it's hard to break old habits, you know? Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, 
I'm feeling good. Okay, that sounds like a horror song. Okay. I've been reaching for my Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to use that. Notice with my foundation, I am avoiding the under eye area because I already have enough product there. I'm going to bring that down my neck. Don't forget your neck, folks. Now, I'm going to do the other side. And last but not least, my forehead. My giant crow magnum forehead. If you have a watermelon forehead, you can make it look smaller. And I'll show you. Coming right up. Okay. Done with that. Now I'm going to go with the Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Powder. And I'm going to get that on my blending brush. I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to start it down here. Then I'm going to go in really light under that eye. Now what I've been doing, because I like this, I like to define my jaw. I go right along the jaw. This kind of T area here. I do that as well. So here, 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 and just the middle of the forehead. And then for the remainder of my face, I'm going to go in. I'm actually really digging this Jeffree Star. The, uh, this is the natural luminous setting powder. It's actually really nice. It's, um, I have the luminous Laura Mercier, but there's something about this that it actually gives you a little color. This I'm doing natural, but it gives you just like a bit of color. And it gives you this really fabulous luminosity. But the key is, you just want it like, like where I put the other powder. I'm just using this in the other areas, like my cheeks. I'm going over my filtrum and on my nose. Because I like a little luminosity there. And then I'm also going to use this around my hairline there ha and it smells like cotton candy oh it smells so good i must snorted it now we are going to do some contouring just just get ready with me i'm using a scott barnes number 65 brush which i love you guys it's worth it to invest in expensive brushes. They really hold up. They don't start falling apart. And they make your application easier. Now again, with the contour under the cheek, I'm going right underneath the cheekbone. You can kind of feel that bone and you want to go right underneath it. And not too far in, because you want to keep this area light. Unless you don't have, unless you have features that allow you, some people will bring it up a little bit, almost in like a little, like a little curve, almost to bring out their cheek. So if you have really nice cheekbones that are still, and you still have volume in this area, which I also get fillers for. One day I'm just gonna, the sun's gonna get too hot. I'll be in Arizona or Vegas and I'm, I'm gonna, my face is gonna melt. Now I'm doing my jawline. I'm going in stronger. In that corner. And then, because I think I have a little longer chin, I'm going to take that just a little bit up higher 
on the chin because I want to kind of make it shorter. We're coming to the watermelon forehead, guys, okay? We'll be there in a minute. Calm down. Take a Xanax. Let's do the forehead. Now, this is what you do if you have a tall forehead. You want to go straight across. Straight across. I know you're tempted to come down here because that's what all the a lot of YouTubers do. But if you have a taller forehead and you want to bring that down a little bit, do it straight across just below your hairline and it will make it look a little shorter. Okay, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Okay, I'm going to give myself a little tip. Oh, and I want to get my filtrum right there. We lose, <laughs> sometimes when we get older, we lose our filtrum or it decreases the volume of it. And yes, I get fillers there too. I get to a little line there and a little line there. And then I also do a little hair on my lip. Um, but that, if you don't get fillers there and you want to get some of that Cupid's bow back, just put a little contour right there, just in that little indentation. And if you don't have an indentation, then just put it there and you'll like create the illusion of one. Okay, and I'm gonna go up the nose, up to the eyebrow. And see, by doing that concealer all the way up and in the center, it already starts to create a natural contour. And then this just brings it home. So you'll see so we've got light, warm, light. Now I play around with the contour. Sometimes I like my nose longer. Um, sometimes I'm feeling it. Sometimes I want it shorter, and I just want that really, really, really button nose. So that's what I'm going to do today. If you have a longer nose, you keep the tip lighter, and you darken this center area. Even though I just lightened it, I'm doing it for this video. Because I want to shorten my nose. And by adding darkness there, that helps. I also like to go in right below the lip and that gives you a more pouty lip. Done with the contour. Now I'm going to do blush and today I am using MAC AC4 Cashew Rosewood Matte and it kind of looks like this. And I'm going to put that on before I see how dark it is, before I go into the apples of my cheeks. And I'm not going in too far. Because we don't, we want to keep this area light around here and there. You want to keep that area light. So I'm not going in too far. But again, if you have that really plump cheek, then you can definitely go in there. I think I need to get more filler. Look at that. Crip Keeper, Christy Brinkley. Crip Keeper, Christy Brinkley. That's kind of pretty. It's nice color for fall. And you can add just a little on your nose for a little cute moment. A little on your forehead for a little color. Healthy glow. And we're done with that. Now I do my highlighter before I do my bronzer because some highlighters can be really blinding and I like to tone it down. And when you go over it with your all over with the bronzer, it just kind of softens it. I'm using Ofra highlighter. This is a Nikki Tutorials Everglow um, highlighter. This is a collab 
she did with them. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I think I'm going to go in with this light beige and a little cream. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. I'm going to get the top of my cheeks. There. Ooh, she is highlight. I'm going to do a little on my filtrum just above my lip line. And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to put a little bit above each arch. And I'm going to put a little bit up here just to give me that healthy glow. Okay, now we're going to go into the bronzer. And I am using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. I'm kind of loving this. It's a matte bronzer, but it just goes on like velvet. And I'm going to go right over all of that. The contour, the blush, the highlighter. Boom. See how that smooths it out? Now I'm going to take the excess and I'm going to hit my chin, my jawline, and a little bit on the side of my nose. There. I get my forehead. I'm going to focus it up there where my contour was and bring it down just a little bit. And don't forget your neck. And if, honey, if your hands are pale ass, then put a little on the back of your hands. And it just makes sense. Because then you don't have like this dark head. And then these little pasty white hands. If you're like really light complected like me. And you have to add color. There. Healthy looking. Okay. So there are some tips and tricks and a new technique. And did we have, oh yeah, two new techniques, I think. I can't remember. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm going to try today. I have an idea. Okay. Let's put some lips on because I'm feeling, feeling a little naked here. And I love this Charlotte Tilbury Compact because it's so gorgeous. And it has a giant mirror. And also on the bottom, I'm slightly overlining on the outside. Okay. And today I'm going to be using Runway Rogue by Patricia Hartman. And this is the color Paparazzi. And if you don't want that super ombre look, go right over that lip line. I forgot what a beautiful color this is. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And it smells good and her formula lasts a really long time. Oh, here's another little thing. You can take your highlighter and get your finger on it and put that on the center of your lower lip. And look at that, honey. Gives you like that little pout. Ooh. Okay. Let's do some makeup. I think we should test the can't. The Catherine Zeta-Jones line. You know, you almost have to say her name like that. You can't help it. It's like you could just be talking normal and it's like, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yes, yeah, so we were having dinner the, we were having dinner the other night, Bob and I, and guess who was sitting at the next table? Catherine Zeta-Jones. You just, you got to. So we're gonna use her mascara. We're gonna use her eyeliner. 
and we are going to use oh my gosh what are we using I have oh I have Kylie Jenner when the hell did I buy this okay I guess we're doing Kylie today can't even remember buying this I must have been on my pain medication and Xanax I was probably mixing mixing my drugs and I was like I'm gonna buy it purchase check out PayPal packaging is cute she looks like a hoe she's got like a bait little little like uh, animal print nighty thing going in a cowboy hat and then her name is in glitter let's see I, ca I can't remember this <gasps> oh it's pretty that's why I bought it okay <gasps> hello what a pretty palette what is this palette called I have to tell you guys that would be helpful right uh, it just says Kylie Kylie pressed powder palette Anyways, it looks like this, and the names are all kind of wild at heart. Feline, fine, rar, rar, golden speed, exotic babe, lioness, <gasps> Catherine Zeta Jones. No, I'm just kidding. Cheetah girl, girl, uh, G R R R L, lucky Leo, seeing stripes cool cat love you forever chrome kitty heart of a lion wild side and pretty panther those are some really fun names and this is I, I saw this in my medicated state I know why because it's like gorgeous Okay, so let's go into you, Kylie, Kylie Jenner. And I think I'm going to go in with this bottom middle color. It's called Heart of a Lion. I'm going to go in with that. Now I'm going to take this little brush and I'm going to go in, mm, don't have a lot of light options other than glitter, which is not good. So I'm going to use the white, just a touch because it is pretty creamy and I'm going to bring that here. What am I going to do? I'm going to blend that crease color a little more and then I'm going to use a blending brush and really blow that out so that there's not like a defined line with that light light color. Okay now I'm going to use a little stubby brush but it's just a little kind of stubby guy and I'm going to go in with the, a warmer brown so predictable and this is called RAR, Rawr. I'm going to go pretty natural glam I'm going to focus this on this area here I'm going to keep it up pretty high because I'm going to do kind of a fox eye and then just bring that in a little. Then I'm going to go back in. I'm going to focus it here.
Okay. Just making sure those are even. Now I'm going to blow that out. Okay, I think I'm going to do a, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this mustard color on my lid, and this is called Seeing Stripes. It's like kind of a yellowy mustard, or will I look like I have jaundice? No, actually, I'm going to go in with this peach color. It's called Lioness. And I'm gonna do a half cut crease. I'm getting daring. So to do a cut crease, you're gonna get a little either a concealer or primer, um, eye primer. And this is the Pia Louise, the same one that I did under my eye. So you want to stay in right below your crease and you want to just kind of a little more in on the top where the crease is and a little less like almost like a little V and bring that down. So see it's all like whited out now. So what that'll do is when you put that color on um, it's really, really going to give you maximum um, pigment. <laughs> so it's going to give you maximum pigment and color, and it's going to go on like solid. And I'm going in now with the color. Well, aren't you a pretty color? Okay, this is kind of a different look. I'm digging it. Pretty. Okay. And you know what? Chicken butt. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take the gold shimmer, like the only shimmer, all the others are glitter, and I'm just putting it on my finger just a little bit, and I'm just gonna pat that right in the center a little. Ooh, and then I'm gonna use my other finger that doesn't have anything on it, and just kind of pat that. That's a very pigmented, shimmery gold. I'll have to remember that. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, done with Kylie. So really beautiful, nice palette. And always use your finger when you use glitters and just tap it on the eye and then check your face. And if you need to, get a nice little fluffy brush and just sweep away um any fallout from the glitter so now let's go in with <gasps> Catherine zeta jones <laughs> we're gonna do the um eyeliner all right let's do this okay i'm gonna do i told you i was gonna do a fox eye so i'm gonna actually get my magnifying mirror because i can see better so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, this is like a bronzy color, a bronzy brown. This gives you an instant eye lift. So what you do instead of going out or doing like a curve or a cat eye, you're going to go str almost straight up, like at an angle, just like that. See? And you can see even before I add more blend it out, it's uplifting that eye. And I'm gonna probably go back into the Kylie palette and add a dark color on top of that. I'm taking this as close to the lash line as possible. And 
I'm going to take just a little bit, very lightly, especially at the outer edge, and just bring a little bit under the lash line, about three quarters, just a little less than three quarters of the way in, because I want to keep that shape going. Then I'm going to take a little angled brush. This is Scott Barnes. This is a number sixty. Great brush. Great brush for exactly this purpose. I'm gonna go back into Kylie and I'm gonna go into that chocolate brown. And I'm just gonna go over that line. And then when I get to that tip, the end, I'm going to kind of go like this. So it's going to look blended and it's not going to be like a harsh line. I'm going to follow that angled line. And then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of go over the top. just above the lash line and that just softens it up a bit. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go over that little line and I'm going to connect it just, just slightly. And voila! Now I'm going to do the other side. And I'll be right back. And ta-da! See that just like lifts your eyes up? Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm not going to put fake lashes on. Um, and this is that, I don't know if you saw the video where I reviewed this, but this thing is amazing. The Best Eyelash Curler by JCat. It's got these little pink alien teeth. So, and then you just squeeze it and you pulse it. So there's no excuse, Catherine Zeta-Jones, for your mascara not to work. By the way, the eyeliner was a very nice formula. Okay, so pretty packaging. Little red stripe, black, lacquer, and then her name, Catherine Zeta-Jones. So we're going to try this out. Oh, oh my gosh. So, okay, just I have the best tip for you ever. This is a game changer, you guys. A game changer. You know how your mascaras are always clumping? And, you know, even after like a couple uses. Um, I can't, I wish I could remember who I saw say this. Anyways, um, if I remember, I'll say it in another video. But what you do is you take your mascara out. And the first thing you do is you take a tissue, a Kleenex. I just have the Neutro leftover Neutrogena. Um, and you're going to take that spoolie and you're going to squeeze it out. Just get all of that crap off of it. Like, look at how much is there. Okay, so then... What you do, oh, that's disgusting. You dip it back in, and you're going to sweep the sides, pull it out, and that's it. That's it. And it stops your mascara from clumping. Now watch, it's going to clump like crazy. <laughs> I don't know, Catherine. It's all right. Okay, it's not the best formula. Honestly, I wasn't expecting like a, a incredible wow moment with this. Yeah. It's a celebrity endorsed product by a celebrity, not like a makeup guru. If it, when a makeup guru is involved or influencer, whatever you want to call them, um, in a collaboration, 
They're normally very hands-on and meticulous to the detail of the product, but when you get movie stars, um, other than Drew Barrymore, um, who has the Flower Beauty line, and Lady Gaga, who has uh, her stuff, um, they're pretty hands-on. Um, also, um, Jessica Alba, but I think she's a skincare line. I can't remember, but she's got some line. But all the other celebrities, I think that they just slap their name on it. They make a nice, hefty commission. And they're like, yeah, that looks good. They're probably more, I don't know, more uh, interested in the packaging and how much they're going to make by putting their name on a mediocre mascara. Yeah, you know what? The mascara is crap. So it may not look like it, but I've got my magnifying mirror here. And um, yeah, it's pretty clumpy. It's not consistent with the application. And I actually got a little fallout, which is not cool for a brand new mascara that I just cleaned. Okay, I think I'm done. I have one more product to test. I am so excited to test this. And I'll do a check back um, in a minute. I'll like take you into the future. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. I've been dying to try this. I was on the fence because I think when I first looked at it, I saw like one bad review and I was like, oh, forget it. But then since then, I've seen a lot of really good reviews, like glowing reviews. Oh, I, oh boy, that's a powerful spray. Let's see here. Oh, honey, it's like a fire hose. I feel like I'm in a wet t-shirt contest. Holy crap, balls. Okay, I'm not happy with that spray. I think you're going back to Sephora. I might exchange it. I don't know. Um, you can also take your beauty blender the other end and you can actually just bounce that into your skin as well. I hope it's just the, a defective um, shooter, but it's brand new. It's brand new. Boy, that, do you see that? Look, it's like a fire hose. Okay, guys, so um, I've had the setting spray on, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray for a while, and um, I have to say, it is so luminous. It is so beautiful. It really, really locked my makeup in. So I'm on the fence with this because the spray on this is brutal. So I'm going to exchange it and hopefully it's just this bottle or I'm going to have to deal with being assaulted with my setting spray. But the setting spray just really locked in my makeup and it really just gave it this glowy, flawless, airbrushed look, which is like a lot for a setting spray. Um... So let's hope it's a defective thing, squirter, sprayer, whatever that little nozzle is. Um, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video today. And I really hope that you guys picked up some tricks. I hope that you implement them into your beauty routine. Try them out. Let me know. Come back and comment and tell me if you tried it. And I hope that um, you enjoyed this episode again. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please tell your friends about my channel. And thanks, guys, so much for your support. And I want you to have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, 
whatever time it may be that you're watching. Thanks, guys. Mwah. God bless whatever scientist invented Xanax. All right. I'm con contradict contradict. I just don't know. I'm just so. I just reminds me of a song. Do you know why you're going to? Do you know the things that life are showing you? Do you know? That's my Dionne Warwick Barbara Streisand moment. You're like, oh gosh, don't ever do that again. Oh, it gets everywhere. You all that use glitter or have children that do arts and crafts with glitter know this. The glitter comes out and for the next 10 months, you keep finding glitter. There's more glitter. There's more glitter. I have OCD. I can't do this. I've been cleaning and cleaning for months. And there's still glitter. There will be no more glitter in this house. Because it really... <sighs> Excuse me. So there's no excuse, Cat. So there's no excuse, Catherine. Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, it's upside fucking down. I'm just a delicate flower. Oh, it says Casa Zeta Jones. Casa D Zeta Jones? Zeta Casa Zeta Jones. Casa. Does the liner say the same thing? Casa. It's not a house. It's makeup. I think she also whored herself out and did an accessory home line. It's Casa Zeta Jones. That's annoying.